Hey, welcome back. This is Eureka Math Help. Homework help, always helping with the homework. So this is grade five, module six, lesson three, continuation of working with coordinate grids. So let's just get right to it. Use the grid below to complete the following tasks. Construct a y-axis um, going through points y and z. So I do not have, um, let's see, I don't have a ruler. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use the edge of my journal here. There's Y and there's Z. Actually, I'm just going to flip it like this. There you go, Y and Z. Run that. Construct a perpendicular line for the X-axis that passes through Z and Y. Z and X. There's Z and X. Okay, good. So we've got that done. Label the origin as zero. We know that the origin is where everything begins. It is at zero, zero, or in this case, just zero. The y coordinate of w is two and three fifths. So we know this is two and three fifths. That means that we are counting in fifths. Each box is worth a fifth. It says label the whole numbers. So one, two, three, four, five would be one. One, two, three, four, five more would be two. One, two, three. So we can tell we're on track two and three fifths, two and four fifths, two and five fifths. So one, two, three, four, five. And that's three. Down here it says. The x coordinate of v is 2 and 2 fifths. So this is 2 and 2 fifths. Again, we're going to count by fifths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to label those whole numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, great. So we've done that part. Now I'm going to use the, it's on the back side, but I'm going to use this. Identify all the points that have a y coordinate of 1 and 3 fourths. I'm sorry, one and three fifths. So all the y coordinates of one and three fifths. So what we have to do is we have to think, where are we one and three fifths away from the x coordinate or on the y coordinate at one, one and one fifth, one and two fifths, one and three fifths. So all of those points are m and q. See, this is all at one and three fifths, right? The next question, identify all the points that have an X coordinate of two and one fifth. So we're gonna look at, we're going on the X coordinate at two and one fifth. So that's everything on this line. That's L, M, and O. So L, M, and O. All right, which point is one and three fifths above the X axis? So one and three fifths, one and one fifth, two fifths, three fifths. So this line, and then the second part of that is three and one fifths to the right of the X axis. So we know we're here and we want to go three, one, two, three, and one fifth. So there we are, three and one fifth, that's going to be Q, right? It says name the point and give the coordinates. Well, we have the coordinates. We know we went over, right? We went over three and one fifths. We went over and then we went up one and three fifths. Right? Which point is located at one and one fifth? So we're going to go over which point is located one and one fifth from the y axis. So here's the y axis. It's as if you said to yourself, oh, I'm going to throw a ball one and one fifths away. Well, we're going to go one and one fifth. And we can see the only thing here is k. Which point is located two fifths along the x axis? So we're going to move one fifth, two fifths, and we can see that that is R. 
Okay, give the coordinate pair for each of the following. T, let's find T. T is over two and three fifths and up two and four fifths. So over two and three fifths and up two and four fifths, right? U, U is right here, one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, up one fifth, two fifths, three fifths. So U is three fifths and three fifths. S, S is right here, it's over one and up two fifths, one fifth, two fifths. So over one, and up two fifths. Remember, you want to go over first and then up. K, we know K is way up here. We worked with that earlier. So one and one fifth, and then three and one fifth, two fifths. So one and one fifth, and three and two fifths. Right? Okay, great. You name the points located the following coordinates. Three-fifths and three-fifths. Well, we just did that one. That's you. Three-fifths and up three-fifths. Three and two-fifths and zero. Three and two-fifths. So we're going to go over three and two-fifths and up nothing. And we land on X. Right? Two and one-fifth and three. Two and one-fifth, and then all the way up to three. That's L. Zero and two and three-fifths. So we go over zero and up two and three-fifths. That's what one of the things we had to label to begin with. So we know that's W. Plot a point whose x and y coordinates are equal. Well, I'm going to do um, three and three, and then I'm going to call it E. So let's go over three, Oh, I can't do that. There's already something there. Let's go over three and one fifth and up three and one fifth. So I'm just going to add a one fifth behind it. And I'm going to call that E. All right, the next one. What is the name of the point on the plane where the two axes intersect? So we know where they intersect. They're both intersect here. We call that the origin, and we know that that is zero, zero. Plot the following points, one and one fifth and one. One and one fifth, so one and one fifth, and up one. We're gonna call that A. B, one fifth and three. So one fifth over one fifth and all the way up three. That's gonna be B. C, two and four fifths and two and two thirds. So two and four fifths, so we go over two, and one, two fourths, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, and up, I forgot it was up, two and two fifths. So up to two and then one fifth, two fifths. That's C. And the last one, one and one fifth, one and one fifth, so I'm right here, and up zero, and that's going to be D. All right, what is the distance between L and N? Well, we can count one, two, three, four fifths. All right, and the last two questions. What is the distance of M Q? Well, where's M and Q? Oh, here we are. One, two, three, four, five fifths, right? So we just count five fifths. So would R M be greater, less than, or equal to L N plus M Q? Well, we know L N is four fifths, and we know M Q is five fifths. So that is nine fifths altogether. Let's go see what RM is. Here's M and here's R. One fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, five, six, seven, eight fifths, nine fifths. So we're going to write RM is equal to LN plus MQ, right? Because we know RM is equal 
to nine fifths as well. Hi, Lily was explaining how to plot points on the coordinate plane to a new student, but she left off some important information. Correct her explanation so that it is complete. She said, all I have to do is read the coordinates. For example, it says four seven, count four then seven, and put a point where the two grid lines intersect. All right, so what did she forget to do? She forgot to tell where we needed to move. We needed to move four on the x-axis, and we needed to move seven on the y-axis, right? So she needs to state that you count four over on the x-axis and seven up on the y-axis. Okay, that's great. I hope this helped. I hope that if you were confused about something, this cleared it up a little bit. And thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to subscribe to continue to get this content. And I will um, see you later. And remember, keep calculating.